Yeah, this is this is not good. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Yo, what is going on YouTube? Jay here, AKA Mojo Sports, coming at you guys with the mail day of the freaking winter right here. I wanna remind you guys about the Whatnot app. You guys check out the Whatnot app. It is the spot for me to list a lot of my single card packs, my high-end singles such as this. This is gonna be on there. Flawless on-card autograph, Steve Young. I put a lot of my cards on there. Join our streams, we're live on Whatnot once a week, Mojo Sports on Whatnot. It is one of my favorite places to start dollar auctions for single sports cards. And you know, we have a good time on there. We like to hang out, we get a bunch of people in the stream. And if you just wanna like hang out, talk, chat, it's a great place to communicate with me live and ask questions and have a good time. So check out the Whatnot app and uh, yeah, enjoy this video. Do me a favor, drop a like, drop a comment. Trying something new, I noticed the lighting like this is pretty intimate. This is coming in from Com C. I have been a Com C fiend. I've been buying a ton of singles on there. They just, they've been running some crazy auctions and they just have some cheap stuff right now that I just couldn't pass up. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. There, there's some gold in here. We have some gold soccer. Oh boy, this is sick. Okay, I remember what I bought from them and I'm gonna tell you right now, I am absolutely thrilled. Oh yeah, this is a good lot. Oh, this, you guys, I just saw the first card. We have from 1819 Optic, we have the World Cup coming up in less than three weeks. This is the 2021 2022. This is a gold optic of Raheem Sterling. Look at that for England. He's a stud midfielder for England. Gold optic right there. Picked this up for a great price. If I didn't buy it, one of you guys would have bought it. Go look it up. Two of 10 right there. Raheem Sterling gold. Very nice. And then next uh, from National Treasures, I interviewed him and I just think he's an awesome dude and a great football player. Two of 10, Austin Eckler, National Treasures. This is one of those deals where I had bought multiple cards and I just, I went for it. I, I just went ham, so I had to keep going. Kobe Bryant, Reggie Miller, love that card. Second coming, I like the card so much I had to buy two. So if it makes sense to buy combined shipping, you guys take advantage. I'm telling you, it's not, even on whatnot and on eBay, it's literally the best. Baby Draft, Brandon Belt, right here. This is 19 to 25. I just have never seen this card. I didn't even know he went to Tennessee, but as a San Francisco Giants fan, you have to appreciate an inscription auto like this. Baby Draft. So that's actually the nickname. It's pretty sick, Brandon Belt. If you are a Giants fan, you can Definitely relate in the love for that card. So very happy about that. And then next, these are just some cheaper slabs that I picked up. Dwayne Wade, Silver Prism, PSA 9. Keldon Johnson, PSA 9, Rookie Auto. Clearly authentic, like him a lot. And then next, from 1997 Fleer, Shooting Star, Soaring Stars, PSA 8. Just a great looking card, Kobe Bryant. And then the Eagles are officially 7-0. Had to pick up a Miles Sanders, Rookie Auto, PSA 9. And then this card is pretty cool. This is the calling cards. 81 points in a game from January 22nd, 2006 from Totally Certified. I love this card of Kobe. So I had to pick that one up, PSA 9. And then this is super short print, CJ Stroud, shout out to VAR. This is the refractor, he's playing pretty well. PSA 10, you don't see a lot of PSA 10s this, low pop, had to pick that up. And then I saw this PSA 10, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, so. Been trying to pick up a lot more PSA 10s. I was kind of dabbing into the PSA 9s and 8s and I started to realize like, man, 10s are, 10s are the move. So I'm trying my best. I would rather have somebody package it more than enough than not at all. Okay, this card is absolutely ridiculous. I think I got this for steal. I was the last comp, just telling you right now. Three of 10, I wouldn't do this card justice if I didn't pull it out. This card is absolutely ridiculous. Josh Palmer, gold rookie autograph. I'm telling you guys, I'm just looking for gold and I'm striking gold. Josh Palmer, gold auto. He definitely signs like a maniac because from my understanding, he, I mean, let's be real. If you were gonna sign this card, would you not just sign it right there? He signed it a little bit off the uh, white area, but you know, who's complaining? Oh, I am. <laughs> anyway, three of 10, Josh Palmer, mad respect. Just go look up how much I pay and tell me you wouldn't pay that for this card. I'm telling you, like when I see buy it nows and I see 15 watchers, I think that's 15 extra eyes on that card. Not always the case on overpriced cards, but stuff like this, you can tell you just, you gotta buy, you can't hesitate. PSA 10, this is the uh, SIG Gold Premium XP, Pratt Froyer Mount. 
Mo Pryermuth, I think I got it wrong. I think I butchered it one more time. I can never pronounce his last name, but Pat, Patty, right here, autograph rookie, gold. I like that card a lot. I like watching him. Tight ends don't get a lot of love in the NFL. Crazy to me that wide receivers get a ton of love right now, considering like wide receivers were never, like Julio Jones and AJ Green, if you collected when I did in like the 2010, 2011, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, Guys like Julio Jones and AJ Green dominated the NFL. They did not sell at all, which is like just crazy to me. Position players like running backs, eh, they were always kind of dicey, but it's just crazy. Like wide receivers, people like buying them and I'm actually all about it because I always wanted wide receivers to get love, so. Oh, this is, this is actually insane. This is insane. If you were a 90s baseball fan, prepare to be amazed. I have to take it out, guys. I, I can't do it. I cannot do this without taking it out. Okay, this is n insane. I don't even know what to say right now. One of six 2020 National Treasures, cut signature materials, Tony Gwynn, right? Tony Gwynn, and you see it? Look at it, it's a jersey card. No, it's an autograph. Are you kidding me? Game used, game worn material autographs, Tony Gwynn. Look at that autograph, Mr. Padre. Look at this guy's stats up. I feel bad. I never watched Tony Gwynn play baseball, but I just, he is one of the few people. I'll go watch some highlights and I'm just, I'm in shock. I'm in shock that I didn't get to watch this guy play. I also want to ask anybody's opinion. What exactly is this? What is this? It's an autograph for sure. It's his autograph, but like it says, San Francisco Giants for San Diego Padres, San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium Station. The San Diego Padres opened the 1991, and then that's it. Cuts it off. I don't know if it's a contract. I think it's like a, a game sheet or whatever, the manager's sheet. I used to try to get them when I was an uh, autographer. You just don't see it every day. You just aren't going to see this every day. This is coming from my boy, Bo. Bo and Carter right here. This is coming from, uh, I met them at the Del Mar show. They actually gave me a Justin Herbert shirt. They're trying to get convert me as a charger fan, and I sent them a priority box of some cool stuff, and then I didn't even remember them telling me they were gonna send me something, so. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Guys, it, this is not a prank. Raiders, look at this. I'm gonna totally rock this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is great. Raiders, bro. I know there's a bad association with being a Raider fan sometimes, but this hat, this is this might be a regular. This might be a regular hat. I. I stopped wearing hats, to be honest with you. I, I just started cutting my hair short and I thought it just, I've, I've been flowing with it because it was too hot in summer. I'm not a big hat forward guy, usually just backward snapback from the videos, but these are sick. I really appreciate that. Bo. Oh my gosh, Jay, I wanted to thank you for your time and generosity. The box you sent was so thoughtful and it absolutely brightened Carter's perspective and it has lessen the sting of misplacing his collection of Del Mar show. So I gotta tell you something, this is so crazy to me. He unfortunately left his box somewhere in Del Mar or misplaced it and like they lost a part of his collection. And I mailed them a priority box full of cards that I just had extra cards, some autographs, some crazy, like nothing crazy. And I didn't think anything of it. I'm on Instagram the next day and I see the picture of him, his son sitting there under the tree or something and they posted about how he had lost his collection and I was just like, what is going on? Like I packaged that party box just, just, just to do it. Like I had a bunch of kids packs cards that we had from a long time ago and I had extra hits from our whatnots that I didn't sell and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna send it to this kid. That's just, I can't believe it. He, I didn't even know his collection or anything happened to him and then I found out on Instagram the next morning after I, dro as I'm dropping the package off that he misplaced it. I didn't even text him, I didn't tell him I was sending this and then boom, it's crazy. I also wanted to share something Carter said to me while we were discussing loss and how to confront adversity. Carter said that although the loss of his box cards is sad, he told me I had a great time at the show and loved hanging out with Jay, and that is what matters. Thank you for your awesomeness. That's so cool. Be Bo and Carter, father and son, nicest people I've met. I really appreciate that, man. That's love. I hope to stay in touch, and you know, we'll talk more. This is bigger than cards. That's what the hobby's about. See. You can learn how to be a businessman, you can do all that cool stuff in here and learn how to invest and whatever that is, that's cool. But like you can build long-term relationships here, you can make friends, you can learn honesty, you can learn you know consistency, persistence, and passion. You learn things that like you can't exactly learn in school. School teaches you a lot, but I think 
these real life card shows, this real life experience, it gets you geared up for the real, the real thing. I've experienced that here, so it's been crazy. I'm gonna be honest, he is not doing well. I'm shocked. Tom Brady picked up the PSA 9 Mosaic. And I don't know guys, like, I know he's getting divorced and everything else is going on. Like, it's pretty sad that Tom Brady, like, the situation and he's not playing well the bucks are not that great he's the goat and i think he's gonna bounce back i'm gonna call it out now i don't think that division is strong i think brady and the bucks are gonna squeeze playoffs somehow and i think he's gonna defy the odds if i'm wrong i'm wrong i love brady but you guys tell me what you think what is wrong with brady should, and everyone's gonna say he should have retired and that's probably true but tell me in the comments what's going on and uh i want to know i got this for super cheap psa 9 he got a pretty good contract this is 58 out of 60 andrew wiggins autograph and you know i gotta say you know with andrew wiggins he was the number one pick he was the guy and you know i think he's been told he was the guy for a long time and the problem with that with guys like him and ben simmons is and i've noticed this they get told they're the guy and then they kind of just are lazy they don't really work on the things they need to work on but andrew wiggins went to the warriors and i think too the system right timberwolves system with wiggins just wasn't a good fit but when he went to the Warriors, he learned all these things that like, I was like, wow, he is forming out. And you know, if he was like a 10th or 15th pick and he played like he was on the, on the Warriors, people would be like, oh my gosh, this guy's incredible. But he was a number one pick. I actually met Andrew Wiggins a handful of times. I still have some autographs from him. So I like Andrew Wiggins a lot. Not a big hobby love guy. You know, nobody's going out to buy Andrew Wiggins RPAs, which is crazy because he's number one pick. He was Maple, you know, Mamba, all these things. But I still respect the heck out of him. And uh, yeah, actually shout out to my boy Carter, Carter Graphs 2 on Instagram. He actually is uh, really good friends with him. We actually graphed him a handful of times and it was cool. So this card is actually insane. This card is really insane. I dreamed of owning this card again and I picked it up. I thought it was a solid price. Oh man, I went for it you know, and I have no regrets because cards like this to me have longevity. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like that this has a crack. This has a scratch on it. Yeah, this is this is not good. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There's a scratch right here. I am not about it. I'm the guy. I'm the guy that's going to complain. All right, we'll figure this out. 2012-13 Panini Gold Standard Jimmy Butler Jersey Auto P uh, BGS 95 on card autograph right there jersey. Unfortunately, it's cracked, and I don't know if I can see it on camera. I'm going to flip the camera because I just. Not, not, not thrilled with this scratch. And if I can get it out with Goo Gone, I'll try it. But you guys tell me, how do you remove that? What do you think I should do? What should I do? Jason Giambi, six of 25 on card autograph. Nice card right there, Jason Giambi. Jay, here's your some PC cards for you. You're an inspiration ever in the hobby and want to give back. I enjoy your content. Keep putting it out. Thank you for being real. Half wit 29. Sick. We got Tyrese Halliburton. Tyrese Halliburton. Albert Mosaic, Harrison Barnes, Rashawn Holmes. He kind of hasn't played as well as like, I don't know what happened, man. He was balling though. Went to high school with him. He's actually doing very well right now. Went to high school with him, Reese Hoskins. And I went to middle school with him and played football with him. Reese Hoskins and Reese Hoskins right there. And this is actually out of 999. Great looking card. So my Reese PC is growing. That's cool, man. I appreciate that, bro. I have to go on eBay. I have to settle my anxiety. I'm not getting in the next package. This is the live reaction. I gotta see what happened here. Here's how, I'm gonna be honest. I got it for 327, it's a great price. It doesn't, there's nothing, nothing about it. Oh, look right there. That is a 100% a scratch. And there's nothing, like I'm telling you, you guys watch me open it live. Like I'm not messing around here. Like, look at this listing. I mean, he's put 2012 Jimmy Butler auto beat just like in the comments. Like, what do you do when this happens? Like, what is your, what is your protocol? That's what I want to know. It's literally cracked. You know what? I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm it's, I'm not going to put this guy's eBay on here. Cause I don't know what's going to happen, but I am not happy about this. Gentlemen, I sent the return request. This card arrived damaged right there. It's a scratched up Jimmy Butler. We need to get to the bottom of this. I sent my return request in all my years buying on eBay for the last two years, in all my years, in the last two years buying on eBay, this is the first time I actually have a legit complaint. This has not happened on video 
ever bought a lot of stuff and you know i look pretty closely when i buy stuff and it's not what i wanted so if you guys have had an ebay problem comment down below what is what has been your biggest ebay issue what happened how much money was involved what cards tell me down below and uh, hopefully we get this resolved jay i wanted to send you some cards to your pc i hope oh here we go i enjoy your content and actively started my my instagram because of you kept saying to do so i appreciate the past deals we've done and go Blazers, Kent, AKA Castle Collectibles. What not, 206 to my city, this guy's great, bro, Kent. He's bought stuff from me before, 206 to my city. That's sick, bro, and let's see what he got. We got Darren Waller purple for the PC, the red, the red, white, and blue, the Aaron Rodgers orange, and then boom, another Aaron Rodgers orange. That's sick, I really appreciate that, man, Kent. Great doing deals with you and just talking with you. And the last package of this madness mail day here, three of 10, Tyreek Hill, gold. Gold for the Chiefs. Three of 10 right there, Tyreek Hill, gold. I gotta be honest, it's a live mail day. Like how many people do you get to see react like that? It's just a true live reaction, I'm just not thrilled. You know, hopefully you get a resolution done, I'd love a refund, but I appreciate all the love you guys sent through the mail and you know, I appreciate all the love you guys put on the videos. If you guys can do me a favor, like the video, Please comment, even if you want to comment about a card or some of the eBay mishaps you've had, you know, let me know in the comments. And also don't forget to check out my whatnot. The link is in the description. You get your first $10 spend. We're live every single week on there. And I also put my Zion case code down there. The link, referral link, click that and then use my code Mojo10. Check out our the Zion case referrals. And also lastly, my Mojo Sports hoodies. I'm not wearing it. I don't know why I'm doing this. You know, go check them out. They're on the website. Buy an X, buy a size that's larger than the one you wear and uh, enjoy. All right. Hope you guys all have a great week. We'll talk to you later. See ya.